in from the, I will get this right, from the Northwest Iowa Humane Society. He's sitting here with a lap full of two dogs, and Gizmo has his treats in front of him. And Zepp has one and, and a quarter of his <laughs> treats in front of him, because it's, look at them. They're both like, well, they're posing for their pictures now, so you can see a great shot of them. Both of them have a story, which uh, Gizmo just yawned, so let's start with him. He's, he's already, I'm, I'm so wonderful, I know it. <laughs> so Gizmo came from... He is a sweet boy. He is. He um, was a victim of a divorce. Okay. You know, just just like our human children, our, our pet children have, have lots of stories they can tell, too. Mm -hmm. and, and, yeah, he um, ended up losing a home through through divorce through divorce and he is a sweet little boy he's a little bit shy but oh he, man he loves to get rubbed yeah <laughs> he starts out shy but we have a, a volunteer craig who comes out and and does some evaluating and training with some of our dogs mm -hmm. and he'll hold gizmo like a baby and gizmo doesn't doesn't want him to stop rubbing his tummy. He just <laughs> loves it. He's just a sweet little guy. Once he, once he knows, he can trust you. Yeah. And just takes that little bit of time. And then Zep, who's almost ready to take a nap right now. <laughs> I'm sitting in Jen's lap. I'm happy. He's a sweet little guy. His um, his person passed away of a brain tumor, and so, um, through no fault of their owner, his own, he ended up homeless. And uh, rescue organization. Um, took both of these guys in. They hadn't ever met each other until the rescue got a hold of them yeah. and then asked us if we could try to find a home for them. So they've been with us for a while now and they need they need another home again. Oh, they have so much love to give. They do. <laughs> Zep is just he's like, okay, I'm sitting in Jan, Jan's lap so I'm just happy. He's just chilled out there and, and uh, Gizmo is like, I kind of like this camera. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good on camera, so we have huge, 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 huge Thursday night. Yes, it's incredibly huge. It's <laughs> pretty exciting. Uh, we'll be at, at um, the Humane Society Hoedown at Rolling Oaks. Social hour starts at 5.30 and we'll begin eating around 6.30 and it should be a fun evening. Oh, it should. I've been working on putting together all of our folders of the donations and the trips that we have. Um, in addition to the silent auction items that have been donated, we also have uh, trips that you can bid on. Mm -hmm. And some of them would be a lot of fun. I wish I had some time where I could go. But I know, it's like the animals say, no, you're not going on that trip. Sorry. All the Galapagos Islands oh. and all kinds of places, wow. or being a NASCAR driver for a day, mm -hmm. or, you know, we have lots of okay. neat trips. Westminster Dog Show. What? Yeah. Westminster Dog Show? Yes. You that all, all, all days? Oh, Lord. Oh, Look my gosh. Me. I can't talk See? now. That's, See? That's one of those that's on my bus. That I'll alone is off. worth coming out to the to yeah. the hoedown <laughs> just so that you can bid on some of the great things that we have there. It is. The local businesses, too, have been so oh. incredibly generous, just, just as, like always, in, in helping us. And um, it ought to be it's a fun time if the weather great. permits. We'll have some of our pets out there too. We're gonna great. set up some kennels outside so some of the dogs can be out there if the weather's nice. Mm -hmm. Then we'll maybe bring a kitty tower or two so that you can meet some of our fabulous felines. That we have, that everyone needs a home. And here's here's the thing, I, I have been looking at this and, and you know, getting hungry. So we've got a hog roast with all the fixins, appetizers and s'mores. S'mores and a trip to Westminster Kennel Club, plus you're helping out the Northwest Humane Society. Seriously, there's nothing better. Yeah, that's what it's all about. It's our biggest fundraiser of the year, and whatever you can do to help us goes directly to helping these little guys I know. and so getting can, them a home. So they can get into a home again. It's not my fault that, see, that's what, that's what Zep is saying. He's saying it's not my fault. No, yep. he, he didn't do anything wrong at all, honey. Uh -uh. He said. I just need to get back into a home again. And that's, that's every dog, every cat, every animal out there has a story. Oh, they do. They do. So you need to uh, come out. When's the, when's the Humane Society open? We're open from noon until 6, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. So and you can Or by appointment if you live from away and you can't get here one of those days, just call. It's, it's worth it to us yeah. to be open in order to introduce you to one of these great kids. And now um, the tickets are, are 65 bucks for the Humane Society. And again, if you would you know, like to purchase quite a few, that's fine. If you'd like to pay more for one, that's something else. Or come on out and uh, 
bid on the items. You bet. There's always always great ones, and there's there's more trips than, than the one to the you know Westminster Kennel Club. That's always around Valentine's Day. I haven't looked this year, next year to see when it is, but it's always right around uh, Valentine's Day. So it's a good it's a good thing, and it's. If you've never been to a dog show, that would be a wonderful one to go to because I'm getting into that and I don't need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell you so many stories about it, but I won't because the big thing is finding a home for everyone that you've got out there. Wouldn't that be great? Oh, it would be. We have about 80 cats right now and 20 dogs, so the house is full to overflowing. Yes, it is. So um, easiest thing to do is you can go online. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll let you give out the website. You bet, we're at the Humane Society of Northwest Iowa. Mm -hmm. So just come look us up. Also go to Pet Finder. Um, mm -hmm. I think we're caught up with having our dogs on there, but we had a number of cats come in last week that we're still trying to get on to Pet Finder, but right. we'll get them on there so that you can take a look at all of the wonderful cats and kittens and dogs that we have available. And of course, you can always go on uh, explorebemoji.com. We always have the interview this week that will be up there for for the entire week long, and do not forget the Humane Society's hoedown. That is this Thursday. It's not next week. It is this Thursday, which is the fourth. Yep, and dusting okay. off my boots. So <laughs> it's going to be a fun time. It'll be a great time, and, and especially if we have some of the dogs out I there and cats. That'd be so great if we can get some of the critters out there too. So, anything else you would like to get in, Jen? No, just want to thank everyone for their support, and please come out and attend the event. I think it's going to be a great time. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah. So dust your boots off and, uh, you know, just go on out and enjoy it. It's going to be great if some of the critters are there. And if not, you, you can always see them by going on the uh, Humane Society's website. Go on Pet Finder. Check it out. But your home is really a home when there is a pet in it. So... That's our pet of the week with uh, Jan from the Humane Society of Northwest Iowa.